Rick, you held them scoreless for two quarters, and then they put Randall in, and then all of a sudden kind of got it going. Were you guys not prepared for that? Uh, no, uh, we were prepared, prepared uh, for it, but there was just things that we weren't doing as a defense. They were, like We just weren't executing on what the play call was. Like our coach was, he was getting the plays in. It was just us defensively. We weren't executing like we were earlier in the quarters. This was uh, Randall and Abby's first time playing. How do you think he did playing out season on Monday? Uh, he, to my like, w what I thought, he played great. He he filled he filled the holes. He did made the plays he needed to make. He had some mistakes, but the you can't never going to play a perfect game. And but when we when he came was on the field, he made the plays we needed him to. Justin, what did you think um, led to kind of that the, the change there where they they started clicking on offense? Uh, you know, like you said, like they said before, we we did a pretty good job in the first couple quarters in the first half. You know, part of the third, shutting down their run game. You know, we were getting some good pressure on their quarterback too, and I felt like they just doing that quarterback to see if you know those you know those power reads and all that, and all the option game would work. You know, and obviously it did, and we didn't play like we you know we could have, and that's just you know good you know planning, good coaching on their part. Yeah, but you know, it doesn't matter what I do. I'm just one guy. You know, it takes all t like all eleven of us to win the game. You know, I could just do my job as best as I can. But if everyone else around me isn't doing their jobs, and you know, it doesn't really matter what I do. You know, like if you came out with a loss, and you know, that's not acceptable. We out here trying to get some wins, and you know, what I do doesn't really matter. I care about what the rest of my guys on defense do, and if they don't win, then I don't win. It doesn't matter how well I do. So, Rick, they were. Um there were some big plays there in the fourth quarter that runs up the middle and stuff that you seem, the defense had seemed to take care of after the first quarter when it happened. Was it the fact that um, Randall was in there, that you had to spy him too much, and then the <coughs> big, uh, run up the middle? Uh, somewhat, yeah. Like uh, Randall, he was a much more running qu quarterback than uh, Solomon, but like guys in the game, we're just not executing later in the game as we were earlier in the game. And it just comes down to <coughs> guys executing and doing their job. I mean, you know, the inside linebackers have been decimated. You guys really stepped up. But it come to a point where you needed to rotate more people in to, to stay fresher because those runs up the gut were just devastating. Uh, yeah, they were actually over real devastating because as a defense, we one of our main goals is we have to slow down the run, and we did it for mo uh, most part of the game. But the fourth quarter, uh, things were just not going our way. We weren't executing what, like we were early in the game, and it started hurting us. Was fatigue any factor in that? I wouldn't say fatigue was a factor. I, I feel like we're uh, everyone on the field. It's very condition, well conditioned, and everyone was ready to play. We're a goal of ours is knowing that we have to play 60, 70, 80 snaps a game, so we have to we prepare for that. Were you guys as a defensive unit frustrated with how lack of productive the offense was? Uh, no, because we can't do anything on the offensive side of the field. So uh, as a defense, we just focus on what we have to do. If the offense isn't having the game they, uh, they want, but we have to step up, that means we need to do what we need to uh, slow them down and just do our jobs because we have no part of what the offense does. So we just need to focus on when we're on the field. Is it more disappointing for you guys to lose a game in the fourth quarter considering that you know, all offseason, I mean, the season you guys talked about, you need to win the fourth quarter. So the fourth quarter, that did, you guys lost it. Is that devastating to you guys? Yeah, yeah, definitely. You know, one of our big things, you know, win the fourth quarter and the fourth quarter is ours. And, you know, just to be in the fourth quarter and just let the game slip away like that really hurts more. Then you know the game blown out for that's the whole game. You know we, you know the regard we all played our hearts out, but just to go into that fourth quarter and you know let it just you know slip away like that really definitely hurts a lot more. Justin, you already had the players only meeting after the last loss. How do you guys respond to this and keep guys from mailing it in from this point forward? You know, but the guys on this team, we're all fighters, man. You know we. You know, we we lose games, but you know we don't hang our heads. You know, we like Coach Lover tells us. You know, it, what's done is done. We move on. You know, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna move on. You know, we're gonna uh, focus our attention on Oregon State. You know, we're gonna go over the film, we make the corrections we need to make. But you know, we can't. You know, let the past be in the past. We can't let this slow us down. You know, we have what six, seven more games left to play, and we plan on winning those games. The, the one touchdown where um, Baker. 
on the left plot. Um, what was going on? In, I mean, they hadn't shown that play at all. What happened with coverage? It was wide open there. Uh, it was just a defensive breakdown. <laughs> Uh, guys losing who they had, who they had, just because all the mesh and like everything was going on, and they, like you said, they hadn't run it, and we hadn't seen it, so it was just a play on our part. We didn't execute. Any more questions for these two? No. Okay. Thank you, guys. Thank you. <clears throat>